Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up these chaps right here. They're a eight millimeter or a five sixteen socket. There's six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's same on the other side. And then what you're gonna need to do is take this off. And that is also five sixteenths, eight millimeter. And then once you get that, if you look in here, There's a yellow tab there. You're gonna push in on this air plenium. So you're gonna push in, and then you're gonna take a long screwdriver and push in on that yellow tab, and then you'll be able to pull out on it. And this is your plenium. Next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take this cup right here off. These are 10 millimeters. And then if you notice this wire right here, goes down to it. So you need to open this up. off then you come over here you push this in back and then you got three more 10 millimeter bolts one here one here and one there now on all these hoses you're gonna need to push this in push the tab down and then pull off and do that for all all of these hoses. And now you have your FSM off of there. Now it's time to take the top off and check the pumps. Okay, you're gonna want to be careful when you put this in a vise like this. You don't want to crack this housing, so just get it in there nice. These are seven millimeter bolts. And we need to take all eight of them out. Now you need to be careful pulling this top off because it will be sticky. And if there's fuel left in here, you're gonna spill it all over the place. So. Just kind of wiggle it up from side by side. Okay, this is your float switch. Low pressure pump, high pressure pump, fuel pressure regulator. If this hose is squishy, you need to change it. And if this float does not have red wires on it, then you need to change that. Okay. Got a screen here. You're gonna want to clean that. And you got a screen here. You're gonna want to clean that. It's on the lift pump, high pressure pump. Now, if you do have to replace this hose because it's soft to the hard hose, you're gonna want to heat the hose up before you put it on there to make it bend, or else you can't crack it. And then to test this float switch, we just need to get a meter connected to it. And those wires are going to be a purple and blue. Now when this is sitting like this normal, you're going to see continuity. But whenever the float goes up, it shuts it off. Continuity. Shuts it off. Turns it on. Now when this float goes all the way to the bottom, it will turn on this lift pump. If this float fails, this will not turn on. And you will lose fuel in the FSM, and then your engine won't run. When you go to put this back in here, this gasket is most likely down in the FSM. And you can pull it out and put it on there like that. And then have this right here facing sort of towards that float a little bit. 
so that way it can stick right there. And then you want to put a little bit of grease around here. There's a gasket that goes around this cover right here. You're going to want to put a little grease on that gasket all the way around it and then slide the thing on. If you're anywhere near salt water, you're going to want to grease these bolts before you put them back in. Just so you can take it apart when you need to. Now you just got to put this thing back on and uh, you want to grease these bolts up. So that way if you ever need to take it off, you can take it off. Um, best way is to feed this wire back up in the hole and then once you get the wire up in the hole and then start your bolts tighten your bolts up put your hose back on and uh you're good to go we'll put it all back together okay you got the blue in the front in the middle white in the back in the middle then this red one goes to the port side this red one goes to the starboard side and then that blue one so you get your wire ran back up here get it back up in here hook it back up once you get that hooked back up, then you're going to need to put that plate that goes right here. We'll put that plate back on, and uh, then we'll put the plenty in back on, and uh, try it out. Now when you put this on, you want to slide this in here like this. And then you get it back here. Where do you see that, that right there, that hose? And then you're going to push it. Can you hear it click? on there and you see you put the bolts in there another way I like to do this is I put the screw in a pair of needle nose like this and I'll come over here and I'll put it in right here until I'm down and then I will lift up on this plenium and let the set the bolt sit there and then I can grab it from underneath so it comes out looking like this and then you can take it by hand and start that bolt and then tighten it down. And then it'll end up looking like this. When you get done, you get it all back together. Now before you go to start it, we are going to need to put fuel in that FSM. Now you don't have to have necessarily this, but you will need to do something like this. Um, here is the in or wherever your fuel is coming in if you have a newer model. Um, that does not have the red top, but there's the inline right here, which is this and then you come down And then you need a primer bulb or something to prime the fuel up You don't have to have these quick connects like I have it, but you do need to be able to prime fuel up in to the engine and then as you prime it up you can come over here and you're gonna take this off and let some air out and then just keep priming up until you get fuel to come out of there. Now you do not want to prime it so much to where you push fuel up into this right here, which is the vent canister. That will cause you other problems. But you do want to have some fuel in the FSM before you go to start it. Turning the key on will turn the lift pump on. And as long as you get fuel in that FSM so you do not burn up your pumps after you've done this so just get some fuel in there and then turn the key a couple times and you should be able to get it primed up and start up and then that is basically how you work on an fsm